Hello students and welcome to the first of two videos on the division of fractions and whole numbers and fractions and fractions. So this video is on a whole number divided by a fraction and a fraction divided by a whole number. And I'm going to share the rules of division with you, especially when you're using the Montessori materials, because this is, it's almost like magic. Uh, the key is the use of the Skittles and understanding the rules of division when you use the Montessori materials here. So, of course, when you divide, you share something equally. And in the Montessori, with the Montessori materials, the answer is always what one unit or one Skittle gets. So, when I divide, I may be dividing amongst three-fourths of something. And notice this whole Skittle here is put together to form a whole. Okay, it forms a whole, very much like this whole here, but it is broken into four parts. If I'm going to divide something into, let's divide something by, let's say, three-fourths, I would first lay it out here, but the answer is always going to be what four-fourths or one whole gets. So I'll have to add here to make sure that I get the answer of what one whole Skittle get, gets. And that's sort of the black magic behind the Montessori division is that the answer is always what one unit gets. So you'll see how that plays out when we go here. But those are the rules of division for Montessori work here and in general. So here we go. This is gonna be a whole number divided by a fraction first. And we'll start with 6 divided by 2 thirds. So here's our problem, 6 divided by 2 thirds. All right, what do I need to do? Well, let's take our fraction pieces here. We got 6, I need 6 units here. And I need to divide these by two thirds. So I get out my skittle here that's divided into thirds, one, two, three, and I'm going to find out, this is two thirds here, I'm going to find out how to give each of these equal parts here. So let's go, that's six units. here, here, so it looks like that is not our answer though, because the answer is what one unit gets, one Skittle, so I'm gonna have to put this guy out here and I'm going to have to bring some more units in here. One, two, three. So when I divide six by two thirds all together, one Skittle here, I get nine. Well, let's see how that plays out. Knowing the rules of division, so I got this, but division in the abstract is the reciprocal, so because I know that, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here. Six divided by 2 thirds is the same as multiplying by three over two, and six is the same as six over one. I'm gonna do that first, and that's gonna get me 18 over two, but 18 over two is the same as 18 divided by two, which in fact gets me nine. So it's the same answer. So using the Montessori concrete materials, I have gotten an answer of nine, but I also did it in the abstract. And the great thing about this work, this division work, is that it teaches you the basics of division. It's sharing equally and the answer is always what one unit gets. And that's the beauty of it. So let's do another problem here before we move on to the division of the fraction by a whole number. So this next one's gonna be a little bit harder. So this is four units divided by three fourths. Let's write that down. Four divided by three fourths. So 
So there is our problem, 4 divided by 3 fourths. And I have my skittle here, tall skittles. This one's divided into fourths, so I'm going to lay out 3 here. Put the other one off to the side for a moment. All right, so I've got my 3 fourths here. And I have to divide these four equally. Well, one, two, three. Well, fair is fair, but I can't do this. That's not fair to these guys. Can't do this. Not fair to those guys. Can't do this. Not fair to these guys. I have to find a way to break this unit down into three separate parts. So it looks like I've got to get out the thirds because I need three parts of this to share equally amongst my friends here. And lo and behold, when I do that, three-thirds is in fact the same as a unit. And so each of them is going to get the one-third piece here. However, slow this down a little bit, my answer is not what one or what three-fourths of, of a unit gets or what one unit gets. So now I have to put this guy out here and follow the same rules, making sure everybody has the equal, and I get this. I put these all back together. And I have one whole skittle here with one, two, three, four. Put these guys together. They form a whole unit. Change those out. And there you have it. Pretty fun, cool looking way here. Looks like my answer is five units and one third. All right, so let's write that down. Five and one third. Now, because I know abstract math, and some of you may already, let's go ahead and uh, abstract division, that is. Uh, let's do the rule here. So multiply four by the reciprocal, which is you flip the fraction over. 4 is the same as 4 over 1. So there I have it, 4 over 1 times 4 over 3, because I take the reciprocal of 3 fourths, which is flipping it over. And that gives me 16 over 3. If I divide 16 by 3, it goes in 5, 15, with 1 third left. So my improper fraction becomes a mixed number of five and one third. So I got the same answer doing it the abstract way, but the Montessori materials show you how division works with a concrete form here. It's always what one unit or one skittle gets. So I've got five and one third. All right, so that was a whole number divided by a fraction, what if we do a fraction divided by a whole number? Okay, so what if we do that? Well, let's try that. Let's try four-fifths divided by two. That's going to be our problem next. Four-fifths divided by two. Let's put my fraction away here. All right. So, Get my, get my fifths out. One, two, three, four fifths. I have my four fifths. But instead of using the big Skittles here that are divided into half, third, and fourths, I'm going to take and pretend these are my holes. These are one whole Skittle each. So the answer is going to be what one of these gets, right? What one Skittle or one unit gets is the answer. So four fifths divided by two. Or uh, the answer is what one Skittle gets. So that answer is two fifths. So the answer to this problem is two fifths. How did I get this? Well, going back to the abstract way, I can do four fifths times the reciprocal of two. And two is the same as two over one, which means the reciprocal of that is one half. And when I multiply that out, that gives me four 
tenths. Okay. Two over one flips over to one half. That gets me four tenths. Ah, but I can reduce that, right? You can divide both of those by two. Anything you do to the numerator of a fraction, you have to be able to do the same thing to the denominator, keep it fair. Division is all about fairness. Then I get two fifths. So, using the Montessori materials or doing it in the abstract way, I get an answer of two fifths for the one unit here. So that is the division of a fraction by a whole number. I'm gonna do one that's a little more challenging next here. This one is going to be 7 eighths divided by, oh, 7 thirds, 7 eighths divided by 3. That's going to be my problem, a fraction divided by a whole number. So let's get my eighths out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to divide them by three. So the answer is going to be what one Skittle gets. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. One, two, three. Fair is fair. One, two, three. Fair is fair here. But we've got this one eighth left that we have to divide into three equal parts. Well, how do I find what one eighth becomes for three? Well, I can do a little trick here. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna multiply one eighth times three over three because that is basically multiplying it by one, so it'll be an equivalent fraction, and I get three twenty-fourths. So I get 3 24ths there, which means I can divide my eighths into 3 24ths. And that's what I'm going to do here. Divide this eighth into 3 24ths. Let's see if that actually works. Try to let concrete evidence be our guide here. And look at that. 1 eighth is, in fact, the same as 3 24ths. So I've got to divide those equally. And there you have it. But we got a problem here because I've got... The answer is only one of these, right? The answer is what one Skittle gets, so we're not gonna worry about these two Skittles. We're only gonna worry about what one unit gets. It's gonna be my answer. Only problem is I have eighths and 24ths. How do I add two eighths plus one 24th? Well, I have to put them all in terms of 24ths now. And since I already know that there are three 24ths and an eighth, I know that one eighth is equal to three 24ths. There you have it. And this other eighth is also 3 24ths. There you have that. So the answer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 24ths is what one unit gets. How did I get this answer if I'm going to do this in the abstract way? Well, I know that 3 is the same as 3 over 1, and I'm going to take the reciprocal. 7 eighths times 1 third gives me, oh, there you have it, 7 over 24. I get the same answer. So 7 over 24 and 7 over 24. So the reason that uh, we do the Montessori materials is to really teach kids the concrete way and show them how the division of fractions works. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was the division of whole numbers by a fraction and the division of a fraction by a whole number. Really to do this work with the Montessori materials, you need the, the fraction pieces, but you also need the skittles, the big skittles that are divisible into halves, thirds, and fourths here. And you also need some other skittles here as well if you're dividing by whole numbers. So for dividing by fractions, you need these. For dividing by whole numbers, you need those. And there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. The next video will be on dividing fractions or by fractions.